Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Grace, as you can hear, moaning away um, as well. So today I'm very excited, very excited. <laughs> I'm going to be unboxing a little something that I'm just really, I'm excited about. I think this is a beautiful bottle. So uh, packaging. I'm watching, well, that won't help. Anyways, let's have a look at the Art of Life, Holy Bible, a visual celebration by, um, or it's a New Living Translation, and it is packaged in a box. This is a Bible by Tyndale, so let's have a look, see as we open it. It does have, like I say, this uh, beautiful box and then this lovely cover to the box, which I am just absolutely crazy about this. I think it is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let me make sure that we are zoomed here. Or focused here, shall we rather say? So it's this tree with this golden, uh, gold leaf kind of or gold foiled kind of sun, and it says in the beginning, and it is a square Bible, and it is in a box. <laughs> and there we go. So let's have a look at what's on the inside. It's hardcover, beautiful inside, same as the little sleeve. Yes, Grace. Lovely square pages. It is a white, very white Bible. So definitely white pages. Um, quite thin. I would say, I would, yeah, I would definitely venture to say that this is thinner than my normal Bible. Okay, so definitely very thin pages. Um, white, pure white pages, so not the like off-white, yellowish pages, cream pages. It does have all the books of the Bible in, okay, so it is a full Bible, not just New Testament, old and new. And then it has a note to the readers, a welcome to the art of life, um, some illustrations, Grace, have you come to say hello? <laughs> but now you're blocking like all the light. <laughs> Gracie. Yes, I hear you. Uh-huh. Yes, I would like to show the Bible. <laughs> I guess it, it uh, gives you a little welcome to the art of life, ways to use this Bible. Grace. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, and then it gives you a little um, kind of extract. I like this so much. Grace is still inspecting the camera stand and moving back that way to plonk herself down there. All right, so the Old Testament then starts and let's see what makes it different. So it has like a key passage. Garden of God has an illustration that you can then either color in or paint or however you like. These are, um, illustrations are, I would say, a little bit more intricate. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say coloring. I don't know. Grace disagrees with me. <laughs> okay, and then it has um, double column, quite wide spacing or wide setting. Um, and quite a large font. I wouldn't say it's a small font. Oh, good look at this. Okay. Uh, it speaks on apricot, for instance. doesn't say that it is an apricot. just speaks on types of fruit. Illustrations, illustrations. That is so beautiful. This is then Eve and then a bit of her background kind of thing. Um, yes, so then... It has that with 
all of the books. You do have a slight margin space. I wouldn't call it an artistic margin space. I'd call it like note taking or whatever else. And then, like I said, some of the margins are taken up by um, some more information. And then these beautiful illustrations. Um, some info on a rose. Oh my goodness! Dead Sea Sparrow. So that then is Proverbs. <laughs> Still on the Old Testament. Oh, I love this. It is so beautiful. The book of Hosea. And then must be a picture image of Hosea. Boy with bread and fish. Barley. <laughs> Grace is scratching herself against my stand. Okay, moving right along to the end. Jude, John, Revelation. Okay, and then it has the river of life. That's beautiful. It has a few indexes. So it specifically has art of life people index and then gives you um, where the little descriptions or summaries are on these people and then where their illustrations are, obviously. Um, it has, well, there's the continuation of that, the people index. It has a plant index. I like that a lot. Art of life animal index. Art of Life Panoramas Index, so that'll be the um, garden and then this river that you saw at the end. Um, some info on the co contributors and then the illustrator specifically um, there. Grace's lovely hair already in there. And then some note-taking pages. And the back cover. Some blank pages in between as well so i am really excited about this i think it's an absolutely gorgeous bible um do check it out and yes price point average kind of price that i've seen is 1350 rand here in south africa so there's that <laughs> thank you for watching and for joining me in unboxing this i haven't I've been so wanting to do it, but I needed to have some quiet to do it. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.